Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every day. So if you like this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. We're having a nice day recuperating after Thanksgiving, getting some stuff done, just getting the apartment nice and ready for the week ahead. But the boys are napping and I have McDonald's arriving. <laughs> Hello everybody, wait for it, wait for it. Not to make me late lunch. Did not mean for it to be that loud. It's the Christmas radio station. I put that on whenever I go into the kitchen and do things. I'm gonna make some avocado toast for myself because even though it's almost three, I cannot believe it's almost three. I woke up this morning went to my second orange series because they gave me a second trial because the first one though I got to work out I didn't get to use it the heart monitor which is like the whole thing like the whole concept of orange theory compared to a different gym and so I went and did an 830 orange theory hour-long class and that was like my trial so now I was able to because you have to do a trial before you sign up so I was officially able to sign up for orange theory I am a member now um, I'll show you the little heart monitor and the pamphlet of paperwork later but I am now starving because when I got back from class, Sarah and I were talking about our day. We're not doing Chris Kindle Market like we were going to. I think we're going to go to the south side and hang out because uh, it's cold. But I uh, came back, helped clean up a little bit, and then I put James down for a nap, which ended up being a nap for James and Dad. But I'm not complaining because I got today off. It's just a holiday long weekend, so I was embracing the relaxation piece of today after all the hard work we did yesterday. But I'm starving now because now I've woken up, did an orange shake class, and retook more sleep, and I haven't eaten anything all day. So, like, my stomach is just eating itself. Avocado toast time. And here is a simple avocado toast. We recently tried out Dave's Killer Bread. We have white, and then we've got uh, cinnamon raisin for Sarah to have in the morning. And, uh, we're liking it a lot, really good flavor. There's a smiley face there. Left that one to me, let's so I can share that one with James. James, are you ignoring me? Did you in fact eat a whole slice of that avocado toast when that was what I was looking forward to eating for my late lunch? He's busy watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to show you real quick before we get ready to hit the road and go back to the suburbs. Here is my OT beat burn. Orange theory stuff. So here is my heart monitor. Pretty basic. Um, there's actually an attachment if you had an Apple Watch to put like to put it on your Apple Watch sleeve. Um, that would be a smaller version of this. But this I have to sync up to my phone. Evie. Eve really wants to join Orange Theory. And then here's like my little folder of information. I don't need any of this because the advent of the internet. But it's cool, there's like terms if you get like freaked out by like what the coaches are screaming at you during uh, during it. Like when they talk about power, benchmark, floor team, tread, row. So just stuff that is gonna is nice to have just to act like familiarize yourself with how everything gets started and then you can throw it away. There is, uh, so this is the, the armband, so I put this above my Bye Bye Mickey Mouse tattoo. Um, above my elbow, but you can wear it below the elbow by my Sweet Pea Tattoo, but there's also a chest monitor version of a heart rate. So this this is what, it, it registers my heart rate, and maybe I'll toss, uh, I can give Sarah the, my chart for my last workout, because it actually has my chart, where the goal is to be in zone 4 or zone 5 for at least 12 minutes in your workout. Fun fact about Peter is, when I run my basic, my base pace, for running is always typically in zone four. Anyway, but this is like it'll oh. be a good thing way for you to like learn. Like, yeah, it'll be like you'll be hyper aware of your heart rate and maybe like I don't know get regulated. But like some people are either super four heart rate zone uh, training and other people aren't. That's how Orange Theory works. So at least when I'm at Orange Theory, I will be careful and be aware of my heart zone. What do you have to say? Do they give me more avocado toast? Yeah, get out of here, dweeb. 
It's a beautiful opening scene. This is your anthem and you don't even know it. He knows it. Okay, how adorable is this baby? With his little sweater on in his car seat. We just ordered his next car seat because that's how big he is. You're going to share this car seat with your new sibling? Yeah, you got to learn to share now because that's what that's where this is going. Mm -hmm. Don't look too nervous. Let the smorgasbord begin. We got leftovers we're heating up, gravy we're heating up, and we're gonna get the chili cheese dip heating up. I could just watch these two, or more so, listen to them talk all day long. All right, for anybody who's been watching for a few years now, you know what the Sunday after Thanksgiving means. That means Christmas tree chopping now. You also know Sunday is my supposed to be my long run day, but because of our trip to get a Christmas tree, I'm not going to do my long run. I'm going to do my long run tomorrow, which is why I had that ridiculously delicious and large plate of fuel at 6 o'clock tonight. So by the time I get up and get ready to run tomorrow, that'll be like enough time for it to be like fuel for my body. Now it's just the game of drinking lots of water tonight because I'm doing 18 miles tomorrow. Uh, but I am going to have a slice of pie which is probably gonna be overkill, but you know. How do I use this fancy contraption? This is their new fridge. I wanna use... How do I use your pre-measured filler upper? You pluck, and then you hold, you just... You still have to hold it? Yeah, unfortunately, and then it'll stop on its own. Let us in the comment down below if you know how to get rid of the old, the new filter plastic paste. Filters in. Tastes like plastic. James is playing with the ice cream scoop again and we just started Nightmare Before Christmas. Halloween or Christmas movie? Let us know down below. So I'm actually playing games with Matt and Peter tonight. When's the last time that that's happened? It's been a while. James is occupied, but typically I'd be like editing or having something to do. Matt is here and we're playing The Mind, which is... You know what? I found a clip that I didn't put on the vlog that I saw like later that I just didn't include. So I might not. We'll talk about it later. Did you like Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings, Jamesy? Jamesy dance it. Grant, give a synopsis on how you play this game. Uh, you, there's two to four players. You don't can't talk, you put down your lowest card and you hope nobody else has anything lower. Because if they do, you lose a life. I explained it so much better than Matt did when he was explaining it to me. <laughs> get it, 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 get it. Get it. Okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll put a website of how you, like a true description of this, but I really like this one. This is one of my oh, favorites that you've ever brought. Yeah, it's because it's so <laughs> simple kind of the concept. Yeah. But yeah. Have you done the one where it's like? <laughs> I did that with uh, just a hand weight. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it with kettlebell kind of too. Guess who's pumped that we're home? Baby girl is. Got a treat hanging out of your mouth? You silly girl. James might have transferred well into his crib. He fell asleep in his car seat. Did we say we ordered, we partook in some Black Friday shopping and we got James's next seat that he'll be in? It's like his long-term one. It's a car seat that turns into a different car seat that turns into a different car seat that turns into a booster. He's in it through like 130 pounds. So basically we'll need to get, this will be like his until he's an old soul. Um... You know, we did say that earlier. We did say that earlier in the vlog, but we're just excited about it. Um, I'm getting nervous for my long run tomorrow. I have to look at the weather and see how it is. I really don't want to run on a treadmill. So I'm hopeful that I can run it outside in the morning with the sunlight. Sarah's very tired. She fell asleep in the car and she hasn't done that in a long time. She fell asleep three times in the car. She's giving me the eyes right now. Um, so I think we're gonna call it a night here in a minute. You know, today was a was a 
relaxing day. I mean, like, Sam's like my orange theory, all that fun, but like, the events of the day were like laid back, nothing really happened. And I think out of our like long holiday weekend, week, the weekend thing, today was a perfect day to do that. We've got events every other day, and you want like a guilt free nothing day. Like, it's not like we decided to not do a bunch of stuff or, like, postpone everything, cancel things. We just, like, had the choice in the morning of, like, let's just have a relaxing day, which resulted in, like, a three-hour nap I took with James, which resulted in us just, like, playing games and watching movies at Christina and Grant's, eating leftovers. Um, but I have, like, one more big cup of water to drink before I'm, like, confident in how much water I took in for, for tomorrow's run. I'm doing more shopping. Oh, gosh. I have to look at these shopping deals, but like we're also, the deals are through Monday basically. We're bringing it back to the basics and watching Colleen Ballinger's vlogs and which, and which also means the Ballinger family, the other side of our family started Vlogmas today. They are some of the OG vloggers that inspired me and in started a daily vlog. So I think it would be fun to follow along on their Vlogmas. Um, I think Sarah fell asleep with James. James woke up. A little bit ago when I was helping Eve, giving her some treats and stuff, um, I heard James wake up and Sarah went into the room to go help him get back to sleep. But sometimes you fall asleep when you help your baby go back to sleep. I've also laid out my stuff for the morning. I'm gonna drink that in the morning, eat that before my run, and these will be the potential gels for during the run. Um, I need to get my headphones charging and my Garmin watch charging and find out what clothes I'm wearing I'm trying to do this outside. It's supposed to be 31. So I think if I wear my my Under Armour pants under my shorts and then wear a hoodie, I think I'll be fine. The first, if I get out at six like I want to, the sun's not supposed to be up till seven. Which means I really won't feel the heat of it until like 7.30, but I'm gonna be out there for like three hours. So if I actually get out there at six, that'll be like a finish time um, hopefully before 9.30, depending on how I feel. We'll see. Um, second longest run of the training block for Dopey. I think it's 18 today, or this weekend, 15 the next weekend, and then 20 the following. And that'll be the longest before the taper begins. Um, but also incorporating Orange Theory now into the plan, in the mix. So hopefully I'm far enough away from Dopey that... This isn't something too strange and new to the training block before Dopey. So James woke up again. We're still not in bed, it's almost one. I'm supposed to run a long distance tomorrow. James woke up, so I went in there. But when I came back out, Sarah was watching Ballander's Christmas from last year. I said on the vlog that Vlogmas started today. They're like our true inspiration prior to Disney vlogging. That's what people don't get. Like People think we're a Disney vlog. Yeah. But what people don't realize is that we pride ourselves in being daily vlog to capture our memories, and that is rooted in watching years of the Ballinger family. Yeah, like year, like over ten, like ten years now ish. Because I probably I started like I watched Miranda Sings. I found Miranda Sings in like twenty ten, and then I just fell in love with their whole family. And I like, fell in love with mostly the Ballinger family vlogs. Mm -hmm. I still like to watch Colleen and all of her yeah. friends and, and sister. We've been watching more of Colleen lately. Um, like, we would, like, go through, like, you just go through, like, seasons of, like, what you watch. And mm -hmm. so, like, I like watching old stuff, too. But, yeah, they're great. And... It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We gotta go to bed. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.